But here's the scenario. You have someone in your congregation maybe comes to you and says that I've got a neighbor uh, who's selling drugs and maybe they're, they're kind of fearful uh, of possible retribution. How, how do you approach that, that, that issue? I think the fear of retribution is a real thing. I mean, we can't mess around with this. How do you confront it? You don't do it alone. You do use, you go to the authorities and you go to your community, your religious community. And one of my favorite scenes in um, Toni Morrison's book, Beloved, is when the whole community comes together to say no way to the, to the guy who's come to, to carry her back into slavery. And I think you take the whole community mm -hmm. and you put that community right in front of that house and say, no way. You have to encourage uh, this person to be courageous. It takes a lot of courage at times in a situation when you know in some situations justice system wise this person may be back on the streets in a week mm -hmm. and back at that house in a week. Right. And mm -hmm. if they know that you're the one that reported them then indeed it might put you in danger. So you need to do it discreetly, you need to do it anonymously, but, but you need to do it for the good of others. I think someone comes to their rabbi or to their pastor because they need you to take on the responsibility. Sure. Mm -hmm. They need you to be the reporter. And, that, and, and that's, that's the way you've had it. And, yeah. I've, and I've had to do that in my yeah. congregation. I had How? someone who, who came to me saying that someone's selling drugs next door to me. Mm -hmm. I said, I will take the responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there were, there were two methods that I knew how to, you know, I knew what to do. One, I knew some people in the community that were very well connected in terms of who's selling and what they're doing, mm -hmm. and also had a relationship with the police. So I said, I will, I will take that responsibility. I will talk to the police. I will talk to the brothers in the neighborhood, and we will shut this thing down. And uh, we ended up closing mm -hmm. uh, two crack houses in our neighborhood by buying those uh, homes and just leveling them. Right. And so I think it's important that the faith community understands that mm -hmm. we don't want to put it on an individual, but we yeah. want the community, yeah. as nice. you mentioned, yeah. to join together and say that this is not going to happen in our neighborhood. But I think this is really nice because mm -hmm. this is one of those situations that if my congregant doesn't feel comfortable coming to me, that if I have a good relationship with mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. my congregant can go to you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. say, Otis, I need help with this situation. This is a community you know, situation. The principle here, though, I think is important to, to, and for us to grapple with a bit, and that is it's easier sometimes just to ignore a situation like this. You know, you've got a neighbor that's selling drugs and you just ignore it, thinking mm -hmm. if I leave them alone, right. all is well. But I think there's a deeper principle to say, but by intervening, I'm going to save some young person's life or someone else's right. life. Oh, and so I am my right. brother's keeper and I want to make right. a difference. Well, in my own congregation, and I've had a similar experience as you have had, Otis, but uh, we make it known that there's no tolerance for drugs. That's right. mm -hmm. Zero tolerance. Mm -hmm. And also that we are a congregation that stands up uh, for the community mm -hmm. and stands against the use of drugs that to have a drug free zone in our community. Right. So we've done marches and we've gone and we've bought property. So I think it is important to get the community involved so that the person isn't alone. That's but good. I also think that it is important to teach in the congregation there's no tolerance mm -hmm. and to tell people that they have some support mm -hmm. and some way to face these things so that they're not yeah, the doing it alone. goes deeper than drugs. Right. I mean, right. you know, if, if you're living next door to someone that's abusing their child, right. exactly. somebody needs to say something. Right. You know, so it's a but deeper principle than just drugs. I mean, yes. Billy, you know that that is, you don't want to ruin relationships. Sure. I mean, that mm -hmm. is, people are deeply afraid, but we need to, I mean, I'm afraid. There, and, but there is a holy power in community. Right. I mean, yeah. there That's is, right. there is something about a group of people rising up and saying, not here. And there's a holy yeah. power in doing what's right. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, mm -hmm. when you and do what's right, God's role. with you.